Hey guys, it's me, Summon Videos, as you can see. But I'm not playing that. I'm not playing any of those. I'm playing World of Tanks. It's a Guinness World Record holder. All that other fun stuff. <clears throat> I gotta type my password. I just got my iPod back after smashing the screen from dropping it. And uh, I'm doing some World of Tanks for you guys. Mm. I just got this tank and it's pretty good. Mm. The tank I like, it's, it's, it's new from the. Oh, excuse me. It's new from the British tree. It's called the Matilda. And I've got my crew. 78%, almost 100. I think it'd be better ready to make a stand. Hey, what do you know? It works. It's a little bit tilted, but it'll work. It'll work. It'll work. So this is the Matilda. Its hit points, as you can see at this angle, is 370. Engine power is 190, which makes it 24 kilometers an hour, which is roughly 10, 15 miles an hour. Traverse speed is 36 degrees over seconds. Hull armor is really strong against anything lower than tier 3, and a little bit over tier 4. Hull armor, which is, if I'm correct me if I'm wrong, hull armor should be up here. That's 75, no, 75 up here, 70 on the sides, 55 on the back. Turret armor, 75, 75, 75, 75 for each side. Well, now the turret I have on... So let's go to research. I've all I have to do is research to Churchill, and I'm probably not going to get it because I'm not one for having tier five because they cost a lot of money and they make a decent amount of pay. But this this is a good tank. I like it. This right here, the three inch howitzer. I forgot about that. I don't know how good the quality is. If this is like a bunch of gray spots over here, whatever. The three inch howitzer is like a derp gun. If anyone's ever played this game, what a derp gun is is it makes it so the shell arcs and you can watch it and it's not very good. This is the best gun in my opinion for the for the Matilda. Um, I have the upgraded armor, I have everything upgraded except for this. Um, I may not have a lot of silver because um, I just spent it all on this the M8A1 tank destroyer. Most tank destroyers you can't turn the turret all the way around but on this one you can and this is this is part of the American line. This is part of the British line, the new British line. The one they've just added, see. They don't have very much. As I go over and I scroll it ends over here with the tier 10. There's only three tier 10s. Turn it back over here. One branch I'm working on is this French branch right here. It is the medium, it's the light tank. What I'm trying to get is this hunk of a beast right here. The ELC AMX. It's got a 90 millimeter gun. Um, but I'm working with my to the AMX 12T and the AMX 3, 1375. Probably, I'm probably going to stay at this one because I, I just don't have the money to get up into the millions of silver and whatnot. But I just have to work on getting money for this. This is the this is really unpenetrable just because of how curved it is. But um it's a tier one tank. It's pretty good. I mean for the Xbox I don't know what they're gonna do if they're gonna have the British British tree, those trees, but the one they've recently added is the Chinese branch as you can see 
They don't have much compared to, say, the German tree, which is absolutely ridiculous. So you can see where it branches off to each one. You can go to this one, then go to this one, then go to this one, go to these. Um, the British tree isn't that bad. I mean, if it, it's okay, I guess. I mean, if they had artillery for the British or UK, I would I wouldn't mind it. I'd probably use it. But I'm using the I'm using this one right now, the T57. I was gonna get the M4, but I got the M7. Didn't like it. So now I got the Matilda, which is now a really good tank. I yesterday I went six, and I didn't. Well, if you die, you die. You don't come back. But I got six kills. I took at least over a thousand HP of damage. I didn't die. I probably lost a sliver of health. That tells you how beast this thing is. And th these were all I don't know tier. These were tier five tanks that were trying to kill me, but they didn't get me. So, uh, I'll take the Matilda into battle and show you how good this tank is. I don't know how good the camera quality is right here. If you comment in the video, well, I'll watch the video over and tell me if the quality is any good. And I'll have the setup I have it right now, which is laying on my headphones. Right now we have two artilleries, tank destroyer, that's a tank destroyer, that's a tank destroyer, so he can't turn his turret all the way, that's a light tank, that's another tank destroyer, that's a heavy tank, that's a medium tank, that's another tank destroyer, that is a light tank, uh, I can't zoom in all the way, but that looks like an artillery, yep, the squares are artillery, so we have all of our artillery over there, I'll go over there so you guys can check those out. See, this tank doesn't go very fast. I might be able to catch up to the artillery so you can see what they look like. See, there's one right there. That's one artillery. They've got the biggest guns. They do the massive damage. But they have really poor armor, and they're not something you want to go head-to-head -head with. Same thing with tank destroyers. They've got paper-thin armor. It's not like the he uh, heavy tanks and such. So I'll probably stay back here play the defensive position. Yeah, they're trying to take over. The, I'm going to cover the artillery, probably. No. Yeah, I'll cover the artillery. I mean... I want to get up here by this artillery so I can at least get a view vantage. This has fully upgraded everything on it. So, I mean... All the angles on it, mostly in the front, will make a ding. They'll say, oh, they, they've dinged us. Or... But here's what my cannon sounds like. It's not a very menacing sound compared to these artillery that goes through a really deep boom. Like him. Oh, there we go. Let's see if I can get my first kill. Nope. That M4 just wrecked him. Oh, we got an A20 I could probably take out. Um. No. No, no I can't. My turret won't go down far enough. He, he's just scouting and he's gonna probably die within 30 seconds anyway. So. Oh, come on, come on, one more hit, one more hit. Oh! I don't know if you caught that there or not, but I got him. Okay, this little bugger. I'm just gonna target him so other people on my team see him. See, now he hit me and that gray thing came up on the top of the screen. That means they just dinged me and they didn't do any damage. There's a piece of crap right there that you can't kill. I mean, you can, but it's, oh, wow. It's really hard to kill, and I'm probably going to kill it. So if I keep hitting the tread, it, it won't repair its tread, and I'm probably going to kill it. No? Come on, don't repair your tread. Yes, but I didn't kill it. Okay. Ah. Uh, Yep, some people are getting really mad. I don't know if you can see them typing. Let's go back over here and focus on this. So there's an M4 right there, but I'm not going to worry about him. I'm going to go try and head over and cap the flag. Um, looks like this M4 over here has got them covered. Um, uh, can I shoot the Coventeer? Nope, because he's dead. 
Yep, all they have left is three Arties, a tank destroyer, medium tank, and medium tank. They've got that medium tank covered. I see the other tank destroyer over there, my mini map. Here, I'll try and maximize my mini map so you guys can see it. See how it lights up? It dings up when there's an enemy right there. See, we've got our Churchill climbing the hill right now. He's probably going to take him out. You can see the path I'm taking. You can see the path I'm taking. And I am heading over to capture the flag, which is neutral. We have two bases on each side. Um, one spawn, two spawn, and we have one spawn and two spawn. I'm heading over to capture the flag with this artillery, so I'm probably going to have to cover him. Let him go first. If he dies, there's nothing I can do about it. Well, there is one thing. I could probably try and avenge his death, but that's not going to do much. See, they're heading over to their base to try and kill the rest of them. I don't know where the rest of them are, because they, they haven't been spotted yet. Um, yep, there's the artillery right over there. I'm not going to go for him. He's probably going to try and kill me. As you see, it's not a very fast-paced game. It's very strategic, per se. There's, there's the flag over there. And you get more XP and more cash for capturing the flag than killing people. I mean, you can get a lot of XP and points for getting over five kills. You can get a lot of medals. So there's the, there's the medium tank right there. That artillery is screwed up the nut. Yeah, he's not going to live very long. I'm covering your ass. Come on. Of course it's a ricochet. Nope, don't kill me. He's taken out. I don't think I can get... I don't think I can... No, I can't see the artillery, so I can't get... But I'm going to hightail as fast as I can to get to that... Then who's left capturing the artillery? Crap. Those do massive, massive, massive damage. They can take me out in two hits. Maybe one. Yup, there he is. Enemy armor is damaged. See, look at that. Look at that massive damage he just did. I gotta hurry up and take him out before he can reload. Enemy armor is damaged. That wasn't even worth doing it. But what I ha what I just did is I repaired my track from having a special kit. See so that this is all the details I did to certain people. Like I killed this one. I did massive damage to him. 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 I spotted this one. I did critical. Uh, I did critical damage to him too. So now I can go in and probably use the artillery and show you how that works in my next video. So I'll see you guys. And I'll probably, yeah, before I end, since I picked up my camera, I'll give you a more in-depth look at the Matilda. There's the gas tank right here. If you get if that gets shot, if I'm correct or not, it, that will set it afire. And you have to have a fire extinguisher, which I have right here, to put it out. This is what I used right here. You can get these by putting them in here. I use this to repair my track, and it, what it says is a small repair kit repairs a damaged module. The module is the track, the turret head, anything that's functional on this. But what it doesn't do is it doesn't repair the tank itself, so you can't get help out of it. Ooh, my guys are up to 80%. This, the improved ventilation class 2, uh, it gives me plus 5%, so if I get like 5% per match, I get 10%. And it levels them up even faster. So I'll end it here. See you guys in my next video.